Good morning, internet family. I'm just opening my eyes here. Just got my jacket on, my toque. Trying to figure out what's going on. Oh, that sun is bright. Oh. So I gotta go grab a coffee. First things first. I don't have the weasel with me. He's at home. I had to leave him there because last time I brought him to the customer I just delivered to yesterday, they got mad that I had a dog in my truck. And it wasn't a food grade site, so I really don't think they had any reason for that. But whatever, to avoid more conflict, I, I left him at home with Britt, and he's having a fun time playing with his brothers. So he's doing good. I, on the other hand, am here at this petrol pass. I'm gonna go in there and hopefully they have coffee. If they don't, shame on them. And then I'm gonna go about two miles that way and pick up a load of wood and take that wood home. The wood is actually going to Iowa. I'd like to go through with it, but I just don't have the time. This truck needs some maintenance again, like I was telling you yesterday. Uh, the oil feed line where you pour the oil into the engine has a crack in it, so that needs to be replaced. Also, I believe my uh, uh, wheel alignment, or my steering wheel alignment needs to be aligned. And I have a noise coming out of my uh, front left steer well my my left steer my driver's side steer i guess i only have front steers i don't have rear steers they haven't developed rear steering trucks yet so my driver's side steer has got like a little bit of a noise coming out of it and uh when i delivered a load into bc about a week ago or two weeks ago i had to climb a, a bit of a curb to get into their yard because it was a new yard and they didn't have a driveway built yet and it was just you had to go up the curb to get into their yard it was just a little curb and I hit it very slowly, but when I went up, I hit with my driver's side first, and I was turning, and I heard a click. And I checked it all out, it looked fine, but I think it might have damaged something in there, so I want them to take a look at it, just to be safe. I'd rather be safe than sorry. So that needs to get done as well. And then I'll probably be leaving Tuesday or Wednesday. Like I've been saying in past days, I sort of want to have Tuesday just to sit at home and do nothing, but I might use Monday for that, because Monday the truck will just be in the shop. I'll just go sit at home then. I also have to shovel all the snow off my roof because we still have that roof leak we're dealing with. And uh, it's caused by ice dams on the roof, the ice going up underneath the shingles when it freezes and then melting and coming down through the nail holes. So I have to make sure I get all the snow off my roof before it melts again and does that again. Lots of stuff to do. But for now, let's get our coffee and let's get our load. Let's strap it down and let's go home. So we're pretty much here already. I didn't even have time to drink my coffee yet. But I got my coffee anyway, I knew this would happen, but I I kind of also know that there's probably going to be a little bit of a lineup. Because I think they opened up half an hour ago. Uh-oh, somebody hit the ditch here. <laughs> oh, too fast, buddy. It's winter time. Take her easy, eh? What kind of license plate is that? Turn left on 132 Avenue I don't recognize the license plate on that vehicle. It looked like a Mexican license plate. I am told to follow this kind gentleman. He's a funny guy. He's always working here when I come here. I always like it when people are in a, a good mood. It puts me in a good mood. And also the fact that I didn't have to wait for any other trucks. I'm first in line. That puts me in a good mood too. Look at all this wood. Look at all this. I don't know where it all comes from, but somewhere up north, I'm guessing. No idea what I'm even picking up. All I had was a number attached to it, and he knows what it is. So, it's going to the States, like I said, so it can't be too much. I can't haul too much weight, even though I have a triaxle on my truck, or on the trailer right now. Uh, I can only haul the same weight that a tandem would pull. And they don't have a scale in this yard here either, so that's, I hate it when shippers that load heavy freight, when they don't have a scale on their yard, bugs me. But, just gotta look at our pressure, air pressure gauges, I guess. It's just not as accurate. Where are we going there, bud? Where are you taking me? Right here, right in the middle. Right in the middle, right here. What's he gonna say? He's getting out of there now. 
and walk around here. Usually he points me right where he wants me. Okay, perfect. Good. All right. Look at that guy just ripping down the ditch. Look at this guy. Dude's going to town. <laughs> Is that a road? No, that's a snowmobile trail, isn't it? That's a snowpass trail. That truck is just giving her. Or maybe that's a, an access road for the railway. I have no idea. <laughs> Oh, Saskatchewan. There's another guy, a pickup. He's ripping down the ditch. Another, it's another railway worker, so that must be some kind of railway access road. But it, the funny thing is there's a railway there, but there's a ditch between this road that they're on and the railway. So what's the point of that? Why don't they just drive on the road? What in the world? What are they doing? I'm pretty sure that's a snowpass trail. It's, it's designed for snowmobiles, and they're wrecking it by driving their vehicles on it. Ha! Huh. What do I know? Weird. I wonder if there's going to be more people driving down the ditch. Oh, no, no, that road leads along the tracks just off to the right out there. You sort of see it go straight out there. Weird. It's like a winter road for railway workers. There's a load I'd like to pull. Nice. We're here in Davidson, Saskatchewan, uh, between Saskatoon and Regina. Some nice heavy haul right there. I bet you that pays a nice, pretty, pretty nickel. Bet you it's a nice shiny nickel. Man, you might even get a shiny dime for that one. I would love that. That'd be so much fun. I guess he's shutting down for the night. Dollying down. No, no, he's dollying up. He's He's giving her, he's going on from here, I guess. Okay. Well, here, I'm just at the Flying J. So I'm just gonna put some go-go juice in my tanks and continue on down the road. You know how I know it's time to go home? You wanna know how? How I know? My jacket's all dirty again. It's time to go home. Do some laundry. It means I've been working hard and it's time to go and have a break. Hair sticking up and everything. So I was just talking to Britt, and uh, she got some good news. We got the go-ahead from the the dog doc, the dog doc, the vet, and uh, the vet cleared them to come on the truck with me, or cleared Frankie. Frankie has made a, I guess, a full recovery at this point, uh, in, in the opinion of the vet, and we trust the vet. They're the vet, the dog doc, the dog doctor. So the next trip, I'm still gonna be going out on my own. I'll have Diesel with me on my next trip though, because I really miss him. It's so empty in here. But everything is so dog hair free and clean. Like my blanket is still clean. I don't even have to wash that when I go home. I was only in the truck three nights this trip. I'll probably wash it anyways, because I'm kind of obsessed with having clean bedding. But everything is so not full of dirt and hair but I still miss them. So my next trip, I'm gonna have Diesel with me. Uh, and then the trip after that in March, second week of March, third week, anyways, into March, uh, Britt's going to start coming with me on every second trip or so, or, or every trip for a while. I mean, we'll, we'll see, you know, like any married couple, we'll see how long it takes for us to get sick of each other and then she'll stay home for a bit and I'll go away and get my give her her space get my own space over there for a trip or two and then i'll come back and uh, she'll come with me again so it is getting a little bit chilly at night again 
But like I've said a few times already, we're through the through the thick of winter, the coldest part of winter. We're on the way towards spring. And this is my load. Just simple lumber. I don't actually need the triaxis, so I don't know if they're going to transfer it onto a different tandem trailer once I get to the yard, but uh, this is going to Iowa. So it's not even that heavy. But who knows, maybe they're going to send this trailer back to Ontario for another load of that steel. Won't be me though. Got my tarps back here. Oh yeah. It was a good run. I had a lot of fun on this trip. I like pulling oversized loads. Look at all that. All that vapor and exhaust coming out of that refinery, eh? It only does that when it's really cold outside. It's not too cold right now. It's about minus 18. But it's cold enough for that. So we're just going around Regina here right now and uh, I got four and a half hours remaining on my clock yet. Not too sure where we're gonna go to. I'm sort of getting tired already, but the next stop we have, or the next truck stop is Flying J in Balgoni Baloney. And I don't really wanna stop there yet. I wanna keep going. So maybe we'll go to Mooseman, maybe Whitewood, maybe Grenfell. Either way, we'll probably be stopping in a small town uh, in the southeastern part of the province of Saskatchewan. I don't think I'm going to make it all the way to Brandon in Manitoba, but you never know. I have the hours to get there. But why push myself so hard tonight when I can't get home tonight anyways? i got to sleep somewhere and get home tomorrow. It doesn't matter where I stop at this point. It won't get me home any sooner. So I guess I'll just go until I don't feel like going anymore. Well, everybody, it's morning time. And I have to say good night to you. I got here last night and I went straight to bed and I slept good. Well, that's sort of a lie. I'm kind of sore. The bed here on these cushions, it's a little thin. I know I had a mattress in here at one point, but I want to be able to use the table. So I have to have these cushions on here so that it can fold up into a table, right? You've seen it. But I need to find some kind of mattress topper that'll make it softer. But it's the morning time anyways, and I just wanted to wrap up the vlog and say thanks for watching. We made it to Whitewood, Saskatchewan. A little co-op here. It was a lot of fun. Looks like everyone who was here last night is already gone. I thought I was getting going pretty early. Apparently, I'm getting going late. So uh, I better say goodbye to you guys and start tomorrow's vlog so we can get going ourselves. We will be home in tomorrow's vlog. I want to stop by the gym on the way home in Steinbeck. Oh, I left my water bottle there. It's a Tupperware one. My mother-in-law, Britt's stepmom, uh, creates or not creates Tupperware sells Tupperware uh, and uh, we got these jugs from her and they're very good you know they have lifetime warranty and stuff and I left it at the gym and it's very expensive but good thing I called them and they're they're saving it there for me so I won't make my wife upset by losing a Tupperware water bottle you guys like Tupperware <laughs> maybe I'll leave the link to her Tupperware site down below this video and if you guys or any of you that you know are into Tupperware, they are actually very the best products out there. I'll admit to that. And they have a lifetime warranty. And if any of you are interested in that, I'll leave the link down below in the description as well. Now, her name is Cynthia, and uh, it's a Facebook page. But it would have to be within the region of like around Winnipeg, though, if you guys are local. If you guys are around the world or further, like in the States, you'd have to find your local, your local Tupperware dealer. back in there I'm tired I'm just waking up that's why I can't really form sentences again oh my oh my, 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 my. Ooh, ah. yep 
We'll see you tomorrow, guys. I gotta go get a coffee, wake myself up. Thanks for watching.